Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of Mashley, Magic and Muscles, Chapter 43. Okay, last chapter, Mash's fate or sentencing has finally been set in stone. It was like he was going to be executed, no matter what, but due to the testimony of uh, Wahlberg, who just revealed that he was a divine visionary, so his word actually had a great amount of weight and whatnot. So, yeah, the, the terms and conditions for MASH to not be killed is now, like, direct supervision by the divine visionaries, help fight Innocent Zero, and also become the divine visionary of his year. Some of those are more likely to happen than others and to be easily met, <clears throat> but uh, we shall see, shall we? But uh, let's see here. Uh, Mash Bernadette and the Wondrous Wand Shop. Oh my god, he's getting his own wand, isn't he? I, I so hope... I, I want to say I made a joke once about what his wand could be. Like if it was just like a baseball bat or what was it just give the guy like a piece of rebarb and it'll be fine <clears throat> but i can't remember what it was it, it's been a few chapters ago anyway and that's what happened oh he's telling his friends uh, now you're embroiled with that dangerous group you can't use magic or you can't use oh because uh, Lance was not there. <clears throat> Speaking of, where was he? Like, I still don't get it. Uh, you can't use magic. Got it. Uh, we need to have some fun. Why is Dot wanting to have fun? Is it because they figure he's going to be killed? <laughs> um, Marchette Street. Okay, we're in this Diagon Alley looking place. Dot must have suggested this for Mash's sake. There's Finn. We've never actually seen Finn in casual clothing. This is this is quite the change. <clears throat> well, we haven't really seen most of them, so I guess that's true for all of them, but still. I guess taking it easy for now was better than sulking. I wonder how everyone or I wonder how everyone dresses outside of school. I'm here. Who the hell is that? Full blade armor? Really, who is that? Is that Dot? Fun's just another kind of battle. What does that even mean? <laughs> I, I'm here. That would be Mash. Well, Mash is probably going to either be wearing his school uniform because he forgot to pack. He's either going to be in like his uh, skin-tight workout suit, or he's just going to be like wearing that one outfit that he had in the first chapter. You know, very kind of basic clothing. That's what I'm assuming. But why is Dot in full armor is kind of ridiculous. Hmm. He's in his workout outfit. I guessed it. He's in full workout mode. And he's doing like um one of those like ab workout things. Where it's like a, it's a handle with like a wheel. Well, it's two wheels here. But it's like I, the workout equipment I've seen in the past is just like one large wheel and you just kind of like crank out the abs work out that way I've never gone without or gone out with friends before I wasn't sure about what to wear but why did you bring an ab wheel <laughs> I don't want to be seen with these two Oh, poor Finn. <laughs> it, 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 but it's sad that that's also his reaction to this. Like, MASH, this is, to be honest, fairly normal. Nothing really strange about his outfit in general. It, the, the, the ab wheel is a different story. And Dot, of course, is obviously the big elephant in the room. It's like, why, why wear full armor? But, uh, oh! And uh, Lance comes in. Sorry I'm late. He looks fairly normal. Thank goodness. Lance is normal. He's got an undershirt with his sister on it. He, 
He is uh, what uh, what is the guy from Black Clover that loves his little sister a little too much? Um, love, cringe. <laughs> uh, so they're all shocked by that. I'm surprised Lemon isn't with them. Oh, well, apparently Dot had some clothing underneath the outfit or under the armor. There's a famous game on Marchette Street. There we go. Aw, look at the little koala that reminds me of Cub Chew mixed with, what was it, Kamoa? It was like a little koala thing. It was um from, I think it was from Gen 7. Pretty sure. It's like it sleeps all the time and it has that little log. Um, but yeah, that, that's what that looks like. Cub Chew and the koala thing. Both Pokemon, obviously, that just fuse together. What is this dude doing? Poor thing's got like a box of tissues and everything. You, uh, uh, did you just make it sneeze, you bastard? <clears throat> Holy shit, that's some um, snot. Koala snot darts. The koala snot hardens into projectiles. That's dangerous. Um, the game is to the game is to tickle it so the darts hit the dartboard. Oh, sounds like fun. Also, sounds like a nightmare. Like, good lord, how many koalas? have these poor things like killed off of their own species just by sneezing I'll try it oh no mash be careful don't don't make the thing die not that a beginner is going to be able to hit the target achoo yeah, he tickled it oh oh it, it hit dot right there in the forehead Sorry, Dot, and Finn's over there just like, this is just a normal day in the neighborhood. <clears throat> well, it's your first time. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to affect his cross, that black cross thing he's got on his forehead. <clears throat> that would actually be quite interesting. <clears throat> Sorry about all the coughing. Let's see here. <clears throat> I'll show you how it's done. Dude, you you might go to the hospital. It might be for you. Okay, you hear tickle and achoo. And he hit mash in the forehead. Okay. I guess a little eye for an eye. Um, mash is like kind of like... And oh shit. A flying arm bar... Fight me. <laughs> oh, shit. Mash, you'll kill him. Um, yeah, he, he's like grabbing um, his arm. And I've seen like this kind of hold like in MMA. But not like, I guess that's where the flying part comes into play. Because it's while the opponent is standing. And you just like hold on to their arm. And your legs are kind of like on either side of their head. It... it <laughs> Why is he doing this to his friend? Let's go. Yeah, so Lance and uh, Finn have, are like, well, I think Dot's going to die. A new wand. I thought it might uh, try one on your on for size. Uh, there's a famous wand shop on Marchette Street. And rumor is the Divine Visionary Selection exam is near. Ah, so it's get a wand, though it's worthless. And then get a little intel to so that he can better his chances <clears throat> of fulfilling that requirement. Thanks to Innocent Zero's interference, they're moving it forward, which is good for us. Given our current uh, coin count, we'll definitely be taking the selection exam. Past that and all that's left is the final screening. I don't care if you don't have any magic. I won't go easy on you for Anna's sake. Okay. Here. Okay, this is it. Okay, so this is the wall or what was it? Wallyanders <clears throat> wand shop. 
<laughs> essentially. Let's see here. Okay, well this is a lot different than I thought it would be. I thought they'd just be in boxes, but no, they're just they're just hovering all over the place. It's like the candles in the great hall, you know. So that that's kind of cool. And this dude with the monocle is like, "Oh, welcome! I've been here since 1608. God, am I tired? Can I retire, boss?" And then there's just like this old man in the skeleton in the chair, and he's like, "The fuck no! If I can't, you ain't bastard, you know, <laughs> because they're old. They live forever because of magic." Uh, but anyway. Actually, I wonder how old some of the typical people in Mashley are. But anyway. Eastern kids, are you? Ah, yes. So many times. Uh, the wand store is nothing but hype. Maybe I should replace my wand. You can just replace your wand willy-nilly like that. That's, that's something. Because in Harry Potter, it was like if it was broken or you know, totally destroyed or stolen, like, replacing your wand makes sense. You need it for magic, which, to be honest, you would think with how powerful some of them are, that they wouldn't need a wand, but, you know, it's how J.K. Rowling wanted that universe, I guess. But, like, to just replace it is interesting. Okay, he's standing on... Finn, of all people, is also replacing his wand, so that that's strange. But he's standing on, like, a magic circle of some sort and just summoned it wowee uh, your magic power summoned a fitting wand what uh, isn't this Finn saying that but it's like what wands are an extension of the body a tool to aid in the release of magic power a wand you're compatible with uh, we'll make that much better, or we'll make you that much better at magic. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, Lance is getting one as well. Okay. He's got a cool one. It's like, it looks like it's made out of like some kind of really dark wood. Impressive, even for a double liner. Wow. Totally not jealous. Oh, Dot's over there like freaking like, I don't know, blood in his eyes and coming out of his mouth because he's like, he's biting down so hard he's drawing blood because he hates the fact that, like, God damn it, I'm always getting upstaged. Would you like to try? Uh-oh. The old man's like talking to Mash. Huh? Not good. His lack of magic power means no wand will. I guess I will. Hmm. He's going to like like tap the floor and shake one of them off or something <laughs> off the ceiling isn't it? Let's see here what's that wand over there what there's one in oh my god there's one embedded in the floor wow what Sc what scary oh that We've had that in the shop for ages. It's so damn heavy, no one can probably pick it up, isn't it? That... Hmm. I mean, at least it's a wand no one can use against him. <laughs> but he can use it as a beat stick. <laughs> uh, this is kind of what I figured would happen. Like, when I suggested... I wish I could remember when I what I said. When I talked about like what a, a replacement or what an actual wand would that could be useful to him, but like this this worked very well. <clears> However, <throat> it's too heavy for anyone to lift. It said that elf water springs up from underneath it. That water can be used to create magnificent wands. But he's saying all of this, and Mash, you know, Mash is just about to pick it up. It is no more than a legend. Not in a thousand years has anyone with strength or magic even able to lift it. I should know. I've been here that whole damn time. Um, actually, I said like 1600 and something, didn't I, earlier? So I was like, whatever. We're in like the 2600s because magic. But anyway. 
I mean, they have like some modern fashions and stuff, so like it wouldn't surprise me if they way later it's just magic is the way of the world. But anyway, um, off on that tangent now. Anyway, don't give me a challenge, or don't give him a challenge, old man. You don't know what he'll do. <laughs> so dot and thin, or like, uh, sir, you you might want to leave the premises. <laughs> hmm. What do you mean? And he, that water is pouring out, so the the fairy spring thing is true. Um, or elf spring. Sorry, I've said fairy spring for some reason. But anyway, the um. So yeah, that that he he got it out, no problem. Oh, I'll take this one. I, I imagine they would give it to him for free because like. You just gave him, like, something that allows him to create wands. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I think you've paid for it. Oh, he's falling on his butt. And it's like, his eyes are just kind of like, oh. Oh, thank you so much. The wand is yours. Yay. Freaky. <laughs> Lance didn't buy one. <laughs> okay. So he didn't buy the cool... Like black wand that he had. Um, uh, we're done shopping. Back to playing. Woo. Uh, yeah. So they're all kind of excited. Mash is just kind of there. Trying to join in. And uh, Lance is not really having it. Sorry my chores ran late. Oh, so Lemon actually was going to show up. Good. But she had chores. I had some... Uh, bamboo sinus to do. What? Lemon captain. Oh, the the captain as well. I'm I'm a little surprised for him. Oh my god, that cream puff is fucking huge. It's the size of their heads. And lemon's just over there like eat it, eat. <laughs> oh lord. They're trying out some robes and other fashions, and Dodd is over there just adoring the outfits that Lemon's picked out. And Finn picked out some glasses. They got some pictures taken, which really makes me wonder what kind of technology they have in this world. What is the threshold? Um, as you know, you would have think magic would kind of fill the gap, but okay. Um, but yeah, so they, they've got a picture taken. It's probably magic regardless okay most of them are exhausted and Lance is looking over at MASH we're living our best student lives oh they're all so happy I had fun says MASH I've never gone out with friends before you've never had friends before to be honest I mean living out in the woods unless you made friends with you know a tree or the random animals other than your dad there was nobody <clears throat> And he told you not to go out, you know, into town alone, so. So it's not like you were going there very often, I imagine. So when did you have time to make friends there? Let's come back again sometime. They're all just kind of shocked. Yes, damn straight, let's. With Anna, too. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Lance is just like my sister comes too and then bamboo what is bam what was the bamboo sinus I don't I don't know what that was anyway and it comes back on the 20th alrighty <clears throat> wait the 20th you mean I'm going to have to I just now realized this <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have so many videos that well I guess it would be on a Sunday so it wouldn't be a problem hmm so many videos that I'm gonna have to record that day regardless but anyway um so yes um so a nice little shopping filler chapter though ow um can we really call it filler? Obviously, but I mean, there was some emphasis on the fact that Mash has a wand. Um, one that fits him quite well. The fact that it might as well just be a freaking megaton 
iron rod, you know, so it works well for what he needs it for, which is just to give him a beat stick. He's basically got a baton that, I mean, to be honest, like, if he doesn't want to hurt someone horribly, you know, by just obliterating them with a punch or something, he could be like, hmm, well, before you kill me, can you do me a favor? And they'd be like, what, a, I guess a final request is in order, sure. And then it's like, can you hold my wand for me, please, while I tie my shoes so I look presentable? And it's like, sure. And he's like, thank you. And he hands them the wand, and then they just kind of get embedded in the ground. <laughs> uh, and then, and then Mash just kind of like, he smiles like if Lance is nearby. Or even if he's not nearby, it's like, hey Lance, I, I can do gravity magic too. <laughs> or if he, he's like thinking it or says it to the guy, it's like, I can do gravity magic. And then, Lance just has like a shiver up his spine if he's nowhere nearby. He's like, I feel like I want to hurt Mash today. <laughs> uh, I just don't know why. Like that, that could be an interesting way that he could use the wand other than just a blunt instrument of destruction. But yeah, like he could do that like if he's fighting multiple people, you know, he just, he like tosses it hands it to them or whatever or they try to steal it and then they get immobilized in some form or fashion that that would be very useful you know and then he goes and attacks somebody and then he he takes the wand back beats that person and then you know just kind of continues onward so yeah i i could see those tactics being employed um Interesting, you can just kind of replace your wand and stuff, so that that's also a thing. And, uh, yeah, overall, it was a nice little chapter. Not a whole lot much more to say, I think. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Uh, links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and also uh, ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming, and I'll tweet it out when I go live for the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keechlings, watch out for Mash's wand. It very much might give you a concussion if he throws it.